everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to continue on with Lego Harry Potter. This time we're doing year 5 through 7. More technically what the game is going is 5 through 8. <laughs> uh, this is, now you won't be hearing the original music from the game because of copyright infringement type of stuff. So, it's better if you... So uh, I did put the uh, music tag up from a licensed website. You might, if you watch it within the first 24 hours or so, there might be some copyright claim or whatever. I have to show the license for that every time I upload a video, which is why I took a break from Lego games. I just got tired of keep on writing licenses for these games. But whatever. So let's go on. Anyway, in this episode, we're dealing with the um, forbidden phase where Harry showed his magical power in front of a muggle, what they call normal people there, spellcasters. Okay? So, yeah. After we do this game, um, story campaign-wise, we're going to go back and go through year one through four, and go through year uh, five through eight, and we're going to do a collect-a-thon, collecting everything in the game that I can think of. Okay. We're going to complete this game 100%. And I'm partly doing this to buy time to get ready for Hogwarts Legacy. Ooh, scary cave. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And hey, it fits Halloween. That's a uh, roundabout time we're going to be doing this. Do why not? Hey. <laughs> on me. <laughs> yeah, boy. Shit. Uh, so anyway. <clears throat> this, we're gonna start off the episode again. Well, this is middle of the episode with, uh, Flying on brooms, collecting studs, which is what they call the currency thingies. <laughs> I personally just beat all of uh, Lego Harry Potter year 5 through 8 or whatever. It was a lot of fun. My favorite episode is about the Deadly Hollows Brothers. I thought it was well creative to tell the story in a different way without saying anything and to use them as playable characters. But we'll get there when when you see it. If those who don't, I'll explain the story when we get to the episode, okay? For those who don't know the story, I don't know if anybody doesn't. The movies have been out for a while now and they've done bundles, re-editions, uh, but yet they still haven't done a collector's, a, a director's cut version. I know there's a version because one time when I was in like 2013 or something, I was watching the movies on TV and there were some extended deleted scenes being shown that I didn't see before, but yet they're not showing them on TV. DVD or anything. It's kind of dumb. So, yeah. 
and egg. <laughs> Whatever. A lot of other stuff is definitely has done, but whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, we're. I changed up the music a little bit because I want to have a different thing going on for each new area that fits it. Like at the beginning, he was just hanging around with this doofus bully. I forgot what his name is. Dougley, I think his name was. I'm, not, I'm bad with names, okay? This time he's going through a graveyard to helping uh, people get out of their situations. And then we're going to go to the newscast place to see what's going on. <laughs> Personally... Uh, well, I can't say which game is my favorite like, out of the year, Zero One Two Eight. 2, 8. I mean, generally I call Zero One Two Seven, 7, but they split 7 into 2 parts, so I'll do the math. Uh, well, I'm kind of hoping they do a redo for like Iron Bar. You know, do it with them with, uh, Without the uh, voice audio, but do a better job re just updating the graphics. And they don't have to do anything special. I like to increase the graphics and increase the frame rate and whatever. Not asking for much. Just make it more modern. Graphics look great. This, I mean, it's re it's a PlayStation 3 game. Which I'm when this game came out, which was the PlayStation 3 came out. Around 2006 to 2013 lifespan that it was. It came out in 2006, okay? <laughs> At first, I had a hard time with this one because I had no idea what it was doing. So. Okay, we're gonna fly a paper airplane. I'll see if I can get up, because there was a purple stud up there. Purple or pink, whatever you want to call it. And, uh... together and give that man his prop back. No I did such a good job of hiding it too. I had no idea what I could, could do. Yeah, right. I don't even know why they had it. Oh, boy. I would be quiet during the comedy, but there is no talking. enjoyed it uh, have a great day and welcome new subscribers I do any games that are rated E through teen as long as teens are on the cost so now I can bleep them out okay I keep this a kid friendly channel and I do broadcasts on Mondays through Wednesdays when I'm able to or whichever okay so anyway I think any suggestions are as long as they're within the age limit range. 
and welcome new and old subscribers. Hope you had a great time. Okay. Oh, Harry's will call it all. There's a number of studs I have. I'm a stud. Yep. Oh boy. And here's the close-up for the story. Everybody, catch you later. Have a great day. Bye.